When I woke up, I quickly threw up. I was throwing up for about five to six days as well. And it feels like the worst sore throat in the history of sore throats. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie, I'm so excited that you're here. I've been recovering from double jaw surgery and in this video, I'm just gonna be talking about my process, how it all went down, what happened, all of that. If you know of anyone that is going to go through a jaw surgery or you yourself are gonna go through a jaw surgery, I really encourage you to watch this video and the rest of the videos that I will make about uh, double jaw surgery. So let's just start off with what is jaw surgery. They cut your bone in your jaw and they realign your bite. My jaw was just forward completely and when I would bite, I would have a space in between and that really affected me. So the surgery basically like cuts your jaw and it realigns it and holds it in place with titanium screws. During the surgery, your face will swell a lot. Most people get braces for it and with the braces uh, a couple weeks before or a week before they put uh, surgical hooks so that you can put rubber bands in um, into them your muscle memory will want to bite maybe sideways or go even forward rubber bands will help a lot why did i get jaw surgery ever since i was about seven eight nine years old i noticed that my jaw was kind of forward and when i would bite i would not uh bite like everyone else i would have a space in between it would not allow me to chew food properly i thought it was just a gut issue i do have gut issues but it was kind of like i couldn't even digest my food properly because i wasn't chewing the food like everyone else so instead of chewing something and kind of like swallowing tiny pieces like this maybe i would swallow pieces a little bit bigger it was a lot for my stomach to process also my neck would always be forward and it would kind of uh, affect my spine so it was just a lot and i got braces and i have had braces for the past four years i didn't want to get the surgery going into my braces it was more of a bone issue and not an alignment issue so when all my teeth aligned i still had my underbite i'm really grateful though for my surgeon and my orthodontist because they really like helped me through the process and they told me like they never said you have to have the surgery like even the surgeon when i went for the consultation he was like you know at the end of the day you decide if you want this if you don't then you don't so when did i get surgery this summer june 2022 and i'm currently two months post up it was definitely a big process i will insert all the clips here because it was a lot um and hopefully you know you can learn and you can see how you're gonna look and how you can maybe look two months later good morning everyone today is the day i'm gonna go ahead be on my way to the hospital do the whole check-in thing i will be showing you guys everything during my hospital stay I'm a little I feel like I'm a little like, wow, it actually is gonna happen now. <laughs> So now, how was it? So my surgery was very early in the morning. I could not eat the night before since like 6 p.m. This is my last day looking like this. I wonder what I'm gonna look like, I really do. So I have the things that I need. I basically have this bag with all of just the hygiene and supplies and things like that and then i have this bag with like my bible my devotional a towel a cloth because i was reading that you're gonna drool a lot i packed extra you know undergarments socks another pair of like sweatpants and things like that just in case i want to change i prayed beforehand i prayed during the process i've been praying for like five years for this surgery um and throughout the surgery i honestly did not feel anything i didn't know what was going on uh but i do know that it should have been one and a half or two hours and it took a longer time 
so we went into surgery I think at 7 a.m. and we got out at 4 p.m. so you know I'm telling you like whenever it, it was the same thing with my wisdom teeth like something always gets complicated um, but my surgeon was just such a champ like he took such great care of it and his team and they kept my parents informed so I was just really blessed by that when I woke up um, I realized that I could not swallow and that's something that I did not know so there's a tube that they put so you can breathe and that too when they remove it it scratches your esophagus and it feels like the worst sore throat in the history of sore throats I wasn't able to swallow for almost a week um, so it was really bad like obviously you swallow but it's painful to swallow so even things like water you, you it's like so painful to drink um, Speaking of water, when I drank um, an electrolyte drink that my dad gave me because I was so thirsty, um, I quickly threw up. I was throwing up for about five to six days as well. There was a lot of vomiting and a lot of phlegm. Also, I drooled a lot. I had so much drool. I felt like a child. So I really recommend buying little like towels for drooling and all those things because you're going to drool a lot. I was really swollen. I was really weak. Um, I was on liquids for almost a whole month and a half. So this is me two months post-op. Um, right now I can chew things that are a bit more solid but I still have to be careful I'm getting used to talking so that's why I still sound a little bit weird right now I can't feel my chin though still and when I do touch it I feel a tingling sensation all throughout the nerves in my bottom teeth um, the stitches they, they come off like I, I would say the first week or two um, they come off on their own full full recovery takes about two years so this is me two months post-op I do know that I lost a lot of weight please make sure to keep yourself healthy I'm gonna do a video letting you guys know what I wish I would have eaten what I wish I hadn't eaten and all those things my tips to you honestly are to watch a lot of videos be fully informed make sure that your health insurance covers a big portion because it is a very expensive surgery make sure to stay you know healthy and to eat a lot of nutrients because you like Automatically, you can't chew, so there are a lot of foods that you just cannot eat, but make sure to still eat nutrient-dense foods. Again, these are my teeth. That, that gout right there. The side. The other side. This is how I look now, two months post-op. So that was it. Any questions you might have, drop them down below. If you have any video recommendations, comment them down below as well. So take care. God bless you all and have a great day. Bye.